a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Iduki Dam The Iduki Dam is a double curvature arch dam constructed across the Periyar River in a narrow gorge between two granite hills locally known as Kuravan and Karate in Kerala, India. At 168.91 meters, it is one of the highest arch dams in Asia. It is constructed and owned by the Kerala State Electricity Board. It supports a 780 megawatts hydroelectric power station in Mulamattam, which started generating power on 4 October 1975. The dam type is a concrete, double curvature parabolic, thin arc dam. This dam was constructed along with two other dams at Chiruthoni and Kulamava. Together, the three dams have created an artificial lake that is an area. The stored water is used to produce electricity at the Mulamatam powerhouse, which is located inside nearby rocky caves. The Government of Canada aided in the building of the dam with long-term loans and grants. Early Surveys the idea of constructing a dam for power generation was first conceived in 1919 in a report submitted by Italian engineer Jacob to the Travancore government, which was rejected. As per history, Sri Kemban Karolayan Columban, the head of Oerali race during 1922, showed the way to the Malankaram estate superintendent W. J. John and his friend A. C. Thomas e. Datu, who were on hunting trip to forests near the present Arch Dam. Upon hearing the legend of Kuravan and Karate Hills, Thomas impressed by the sight of water flow between the mountains, suggested the spot suitable for an arch dam. In 1932, W.J. John submitted a report to the government of Travancore on the possibility of constructing a dam at Iduki for power generation. In 1935, Assembly member Shri.K.A. Narayana Pillai brought the Iduki project to the attention of government of Travancore. Italian engineers Angelo Omdeo and Clanthio Marcel conducted a study in 1937, but things didn't go forward. In 1947, a preliminary investigation report was prepared and submitted by Sri P. Joseph John, the then chief electrical engineer to the government of Travancore. It was during 1956 that the Central Water Commission conducted a detailed investigation based on the government's request. The project report was prepared in 1961 and the Planning Commission accorded sanction for implementing the scheme in 1963. In 1964, under the leadership of Sri E.U. Philippos, Superintending Engineer, preliminary works of the project were started. Construction The construction of this dam commenced on 30 April 1969 under the guidance of several engineers like Sri C.V. Matthews. The Government of Canada aided the project with long-term loans and grants. SNC Lavalin, Canada. A well-known firm of consulting engineers were advising and assisting project engineers under Canadian aid, while Hindustan Construction Company of Walkand Group won the bid for construction. Storage of water in Iduki Reservoir commenced in February, 1973. The inauguration of trial run of the first machine was celebrated on 4 October 1975. Commercial operation of the power station was commissioned on 12 February 1976 by the then Honorable Prime Minister SMT. Indira Gandhi Features Iduki Dam is tall, constructed between the two mountains Kuravanmala and Kuravatimala. Length of the dam on its top is. It has a width of in the top and in the bottom. A bout of concrete was used in the construction of the dam. This project is situated in Iduki district and its underground powerhouse is located at Mula Madam which is about from the dam. One thing to be noted is, Iduki Arch Dam doesn't have any shutters to be opened so it has to rely on the Chiruthoni Dam to maintain the reservoir water level. Usage Power generation The project harnesses a major portion of the power potential of Periyar the largest river in Kerala, by the creation of a reservoir of 2000 m.com capacity. Diversion of waters thus impounded through a water conductor system consisting of a power tunnel and two underground pressure shafts to an underground powerhouse situated in Mulamadam. The installed capacity of the powerhouse is 780 megawatts, consisting of six units of Pelton type turbines with a power generation capacity of 130 megawatts each. 
The regulated waters of Periyar falls through a drop of about while generating power in the underground powerhouse. The generated power is given to two substations, one double circuit line to Kalamasri, one single circuit line to Tamil Nadu, one single circuit line to Palam, three feeder bays for future irrigation. The tail waters flowing to Kudayathapuza through tunnel and open channel is diverted for irrigation purposes in the Muvachupuza Valley. Tourist destination and attraction earlier, there was a blanket ban on public entry into the dam due to security reasons. Later, it was relaxed opening the dam for public for 10 days during the Onam and the Christmas seasons. The duration has been increased to one month since last year. Cameras and cell phones are not allowed inside the dam area. The entry fee is 25 rupees for adults and 5 rupees for children. The fee for 15-minute boating service for 5 persons is 600 rupees. Idukki Valley is away from Kotayam and is a small hill town surrounded by a spread of beautiful, wooded valleys and meandering streams. Idukki is a well-known tourist center in Kerala. The Idukki Wildlife Sanctuary extends over the Thadupuza and Udumbankala Taluks of Idukki district spread over and is about above sea level. The Idukki Reservoir formed by three dams Chiruthoni, Idukki and Kula Marvo extends to. One can find elephants, bisons, sambardia, wild dogs, jungle cats, tigers, wild boars etc. and a variety of snakes like cobra, viper, crate and a number of non-venomous snakes in this sanctuary. The birds of Idukki are jungle fowl, minor, laughing thrush, black bulbul, peafowl, Woodbecker, Kingfisher, Eagle etc. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?